Hi everyone, my name is Tishit Nicole and I'm preparing for my birthday this year. Yes, I have a birthday wish list. Look, do you want to know what's on it? There's not that much. I want a Beyblade Ryan's Toy Review. I want a big TV in my room, a new phone, an Elsa costume, an Anna costume, an Olaf costume, a Beauty and the Beast costume as well. I also want Animal Crossing on that Nintendo Switch. I want Lego. I want Lego Star Wars. I want Lego Master Builder. Lego the Friends one. I wow! That is so many things. She has a giant wish list, don't you think? I can't believe she said that isn't much. Yeah, but she has so many hopes and wishes in so many little things. Did you know, instead of putting your hope in something little, we can put our hope in something bigger. Hey guys, why aren't you listening to me reading out my list? I'm almost done, we're still getting through it. Yeah, but we were just talking about the gift of hope. That's right. God gave us Jesus, which was our gift of hope. He made our future brighter by loving us and forgiving all our sins. <gasps> hope? That's a much better gift than all the gifts I have on my birthday wish list. We think so. Jesus was born to give us hope so we can put our hope and trust in him every single day. I guess I won't need this list anymore, full of all its meaningless gifts. All I want to do is praise and worship God to thank Him for the gift of hope. Come on!
Okay guys, let's close our eyes and bow our heads. Dear Jesus, I pray for today and I pray that we can learn something new in Church Church. And I hope that we have a good time in our Zoom class and that we can see all our friends and learn more about you, Jesus. I pray and surrender everything into your hands, Father. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Amen, guys. Now let's move on to the lesson. Hi everyone! Can you believe that it is December already and that Christmas is just around the corner? But to truly celebrate Jesus this Christmas, we will be looking at all the different gifts that we have received because of Jesus. We know that Christmas isn't about getting toys or decorating the Christmas tree, 
but it's a time to learn more about Jesus and who he is and what he's done. So, did you guys know that we have already received some of the greatest gifts that we will ever receive in our whole entire lives already? And no, this gift isn't a type of toy or new clothes or books to read, nothing like that. This gift is a gift that God has given us, not just for Christmas, but for our entire lives, our eternal lives. And one of those gifts is the gift of hope. Let me just quickly share with you all a scenario. So imagine this. At the start of the year, in the beginning of 2020, somebody gave you four tickets to go to America on business class, the best ticket you can get on an airplane. And this person also gave you four tickets to go to Disneyland. So you have four tickets. You can bring your, your mom, your dad, your siblings, your best friend to celebrate this gift with you. Now to me, that sounds like an amazing gift. I would absolutely love that. I can imagine all the rides I would go on, all the food I'd eat, all the things I'd see. I could meet up with Mickey Mouse. I could go to the parades. It sounds awesome. But on this ticket here, it says that you must use it in the next six months or else it's useless. You can't use it anymore. So I have to use it in the next six months. So I'm thinking of all the rides I'll go on first, what to buy. I'm thinking about my expectations for the trip. And I'm putting a lot of my hope into this trip. But as you know, the pandemic happened, which meant you can't travel overseas and Disneyland had to close down. So all of my dreams and my hope that I have put into this trip now have disappeared. And this ticket can't be used anymore because it can only be used in the next six months. So this is also useless. So that'd be pretty upsetting and I'd be very sad. And I'm guessing you would all also feel the same. But let me share another scenario. So imagine your parents tell you that you're going to the park and you're so excited to go to the park. You haven't gone in ages. You can't wait to play in the sun, to run around, maybe see some friends, but it rains, so you can't go anymore. This is just another example of what it means to put your hope into something that isn't God. So what does the gift of hope mean? Well, we all know what a gift means, right? A gift is something that we receive for free, so we don't have to pay for it. Um, you can remember on your birthday, somebody gives you a birthday gift. You don't have to pay for it. It's already been paid and you just receive it. So that's what a gift is. But what does hope mean? Well, I could hope to go to Disneyland. I could also hope for good weather. But hope is more than wishful thinking. Hope in the Bible, um, Peter explains hope as a great expectation or confidence in God's promises. So that means we can only really hope in God. We can't hope in other things or anyone else. Um, we put our confidence and our hope in God and in God alone, just God. So why do we need hope from God or why do we have to hope in God? Well, God keeps his promises and his faithfulness endures forever. This is actually your monthly verse. And how amazing is that? That God keeps his promises and that his faithfulness endures forever. I hope you guys can recall the story of Adam and Eve. You know, the story of how sin entered the world and how uh, all of humankind, even you and me, have, are born with sin. And it is this sin that separates us from God. But don't worry, there is good news. God is, uh, has given us a gift. And it's like, almost like a, a free ticket where we hope, where we hope in God. And it's already been paid for. God has paid the price already. 
and this ticket. This ticket is much better than a ticket to Disneyland or a ticket to Luna Park or any other ticket. This ticket gives us a way to heaven, a way to eternal life, to spend our time with Jesus forever. So when we hope in Jesus, that's what we receive. It's a ticket. And this ticket doesn't have an expiry date. It's not like this one where there's a condition where it has to be used up in six months. This ticket isn't like that. This ticket uh, is not impacted by a pandemic. Doesn't matter if there's bad weather. It works all the time. And it's a ticket for everyone. Everyone can receive this ticket. But it's only valid if you believe that Jesus died for your sins and that he rose again. So, a long time ago, before Jesus was born, there was a prophet named Micah. And a prophet is someone who God chooses and God uses to speak um, to others. So in the book of Micah, uh, God promised to give a savior that would be born in Bethlehem. And we know that God's promises never fail. We've learned that in lots of stories in the Bible before. And that's exactly what happened. Jesus was born in Bethlehem um, and he became our only ticket to become closer to God. And only by believing in Jesus and by putting our hope into Jesus do we have a ticket to go to heaven. You know, our situations, they might change. They can change very quickly. We've learned that during the pandemic when we've you know, been learning at school and then we had to learn at home. We couldn't travel outside or overseas. We couldn't see our friends and some of our families. Our scenarios have changed very quickly. And on top of that, we change. We can change our preferences very quickly. You know, one day you wake up and you believe that blue is your favorite color. And then the next day you realize that green is your favorite color. <laughs> we can change very quickly as well. So we can change, our scenario changes, but God, God doesn't change. God will never change. And that is why we put our hope into God. God doesn't change. And we know that when we put our hope into God, our hope is real because God is real. And that is why when there is no God, there is no hope. God is hope. And it really means something to hope into God because it actually does something. It actually means something for us. So I challenge you all to actually remember to put your hope into God um, and really be thankful for the gift that Jesus have, has given us. Every day, um, we can welcome Jesus into our lives and actually remember this message to put our hope into Him. Uh, especially during this time where we're counting down to Jesus' birthday, not to get distracted by the presents we might receive from our parents or from our friends, but remember the gift that we have received, the gift of hope and the gift of Jesus and what that means for our lives. So just remember, we have received an amazing gift um, and not to forget the gift of Jesus. Today's verse comes from Romans chapter 8, verse 28. And we know that all things work together for good to those who love God, to those who are called according to His purpose. What does that mean? That means that first of all, there's no luck, chance, or coincidence in our life. We know that even the bad things of our life as well come even together for the good as we ask God, God, what is the purpose of my life? What's the purpose-filled plan? And as I ask God, God, why was I born this way? We know that in the Bible, pain doesn't come from God. And it's not a good thing to be limbless. But God can even use that towards the good. 
it's not good that my dad died of cancer, but God even used that part for his testimony to know that he has peace and strength even up until his last breath because he knows that he's a citizen of heaven passing through. And the nurses and doctors ministering to his needs and all who knew my dad on a personal way was encouraged as we saw a son of God adopted into the family of God, my dad, fight the good fight and have peace all the way through. So even until death, and even in suffering and disabilities, when you commit your life to the Lord, He can even use the worst part of your life and broken pieces and do something beautiful. How do we know this? Well, first of all, the Bible says so. And there it is, Romans 8, 28. Don't limit God, my friend. God can use even the worst parts of your life and as you're walking in His truth and walking in His love, we shall also see the glory and beauty come out of your broken pieces. Hi, Mommy. What are you doing? Hi, I'm just doing my work. Wow, what's this hanging on your door? It's very pretty. Oh, thank you. This is the art and craft for this week. This week we learn about the gift of hope because our God is the only hope we have in our lives. Oh yeah, that's right. God is our only hope in our lives. Yeah. Can you please teach us how to make it? Sure. Are you ready? Yes. yes. Let's get it. So for today art and craft, you will need the print out ready, a scissors, a color pen or pencil, a glue and a ribbon. Once everything ready, let's get started. Hi kids, how are you all? I hope that you are well. Thank you, Chichi Candice, for the lesson, The Gift of Hope. Well, I hope that you guys are exciting, welcoming the birth of Jesus, which is coming soon. Let's do a countdown. Now, what is a gift of hope? It's a ticket that God gave to us freely, as long as we believe that Jesus is given for us. God love you so much and He gave His only Son for you and me. Let's celebrate Christmas, not just about thinking about the gift, but thinking about Jesus. Jesus that coming to the world for us. Why don't we close in prayer? The Heavenly Father, we thank you for today's lesson to remind us to celebrate, to welcoming Jesus as a gift of hope in our life. We thank you, Lord. We thank you for the freedom that we finally have in Victoria and we can slowly coming back to church, meeting our friends. We are so excited and we are thankful and grateful for your love and grace in our life. We love you, Jesus. We're welcoming you. Thank you so much. We love you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you, kids, for watching and I'll see you next time. I hope I'll see you soon at church. God bless you all. Bye-bye. Hi guys, on Saturday the 12th at 2.30pm we are going to have Kids Church Picnic.
We are going to have fun together through games and fellowship. So come and join us. Make sure you register with your class leader and I will see you all there.